Hey, Miskin Film fans, I'm your host, Anika Chung. Welcome to my channel. I'm back with a brand new reaction The Three Stooges, You Nazi Spy, released in 1940, is directed by Jules White. The Stooges are paper changers in the country of Montesina when evil cabinet ministers overthrow the king. They decide to make Mo the new ruler as he's being stupid enough to actually follow their orders. Mo becomes a dictator, Curly is the field marshal, and Larry becomes the minister of propaganda after successfully preventing a female spy from committing mayhem. The boys run out of the office by a mob and are actually eaten by lions. Jeez, man, so much drama in this film. Film fact. Did you know the first Hollywood film to spoof Adolf Hitler released nine months before Charlie Chaplin's more famous The Great Dictator in 1940? That speech was iconic. Well, one thing I can definitely say, the Three Stooges and Charlie Chaplin are talented and unique in their own ways. They definitely brought something unique to the theme of their film shorts. It was hilarious and unforgettable indeed. So y'all, let's jump right into the film short. The Three Stooges, you Nazi spy. Roll the clip, roll it, roll it. More like, roll the film, roll it, roll it. <laughs> Action. <laughs> resemblance between characters in this picture and any person living or dead is a miracle. <laughs> Awful. Awful. Terrible. I tell you, gentlemen, there's no use arguing against facts. Our business is at a standstill and we've got to do something about it. You're right, Mr. Rixmay. Our munitions factory's only sold five million buckaroos profit for the first quarter of this year. Think of it, Mr. One. Only five million while we're practically starving. That's true, but we must remember that the kingdom of Moronica is at peace, Mr. Ixnay. You're right, Mr. Amsgray. But there's no money in peace. No. We must start a war. Right. The king wants only <laughs> peace, then we must oust him and appoint a dictator. That's it, a dictator. Exactly. We must find someone who is stupid enough to do what we tell him. Oh, but where can we find anyone that's stupid, Mr. One? But who? <laughs> I've got the very man, and he's in this house right now. His name is Mo Hailstone. He and his two helpers are papering my dining room. A paper, paper hanger. hanger? Why not? Now, here's the whole plan. They're so shady. <laughs> Gentlemen, he needs us. Yes, sir. These are the men I was telling you about. Boys, I want you to meet Mr. Amscray, Mr. One. Hailstone, Gallstone, Pebble. How do you do? Show them We've come here to offer you the greatest opportunity of your life. You mean you let us paper the living room? No, no, no. You're through with papering. My partners and I are going to make you dictator of Moronica. Dictator? What does a dictator do? A dictator? Why, he makes love to beautiful women, drinks champagne, enjoys life, and never works. He makes speeches to the people, <laughs> promising them plenty, gives them nothing, then takes everything. That's a dictator. Hmm, a parasite. That's for me. Quiet. <laughs> I must think. Quiet while I think. I must think. Let me see. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you guys see that? <laughs> well, what about it? I like the job. He made the right? iconic I mustache. You know, our motto has always been one for all and all for me. Bedlar. Bedlar. Can I have a uniform and a real sword? You could have a hundred uniforms. Just go out and shoot a hundred generals and help yourself. <laughs> I'll shoot two hundred generals. <laughs> Watch that. Curly. It's a machine gun. Let me see. <gasps> we'll make this man minister of propaganda. Propaganda? What's propaganda? that? Propaganda. A propaganda marries a mamaganda, and they raise a lot of little goslings.
We'll take the job. What do we do? First, you start a beer putch. How? You put your beer down and wait for the pretzels. <laughs> no, 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 no. You go to the saloons and you buy free beer for all the lunatics. Then you march them to the palace and force the king to abdicate. That makes you dictator. Hail, hail, hailstone, the dictator! Hail, hail, hailstone! <laughs> <laughs> My good people of Moronica, I am very happy to see this little gathering. We must throw off the yoke of monarchy and make our country safe for hypocrisy! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Is that so for your hair? <laughs> Our motto shall be Moronica for Moron! Uh... <laughs> we will have less work and more play. Every Thursday you will receive hamburger and egg. Wow, that's hilarious. <laughs> or on the go most next time, we must extend our neighbors a helping hand. We will extend them two helping hands and help ourselves to our neighbors. Bella, 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 Bella. Fight them all. I try to make his for pants. He may cut it. A carbon. And it's cheap to pull out. I'm fighting the bones. A carbon. I'm fighting the bones. See it. Put a ticket at credit. A carbon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Oh my and gosh. <laughs> we will now pause for station identification. This is N-U-T-S. When you hear the clank on the door, it will be three o'clock, Bologna watch time. Three o'clock, Bologna watch time. Three o'clock, Bologna watch time. It must be three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Maniacal laugh. <laughs> Monica and the Morons? Did I just see that? Here's how. I know how. Bring for my secretary. You mean secretary? I said secretary. Secretary. Which is correct? Stenographer. Oh, ring for it. I still say secretary. Is that so? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by reading a book? Suppose you learn something. Loyal Moronicans shouldn't read. Take your troops out and have them burn every book of Moronica. Not my little Wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> June East, 110 Good Naking Place. Whoopi 4430. Ruby Clutch, O O O G, has car, often runs out of gas. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. I'll keep this. Oh, a bookkeeper. Go burn the books. Why burn the books? There are too many bookmakers. The bookies are overrunning the country. Those are my orders. Hail, hail, hailstone. Wahoo! Yes? Maddie Herring is here to see you. Marinator and send her in. Yes, sir. Munchkin! <laughs> Please, in your excellency, I caught this man walking down the street with a chicken. Blonde that voice is so Why? familiar. Where did you get the chicken? From an egg. Where'd you get the egg? Is it the munchkin from the Wizard of Oz? A vicious cycle. We must kill it. Remind me to kill a cycle. Quiet. Put him in a concentrated camp. Huh. Really? For huh. bringing a chicken and an huh. egg? <laughs> On second thought, thrown to the lions. But we have no lions. Wow. How about the tigers or the cubs? Or the giants? Why have we no lions? Because there's no bones in ice cream. Well, we... <laughs> how can I throw anyone to the lions when we have no lions? Oh, don't no worry, little fella. We'll get you nice, ferocious lions. <laughs> With long claws that scratch like this. <laughs> and long white teeth that bite like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know. 
here comes a spy. Mm. I am Matty Herring. Oh, my favorite dish. Hmm. Don't taste like herring to me. Oh, I'm kind of sorry, eh? <laughs> oh. As Minister of Propaganda, I don't want to hear from you. Oh. What's the matter with him? He's a little grouchy. Got up on the wrong side of the gutter this morning. Shall we gaze into the magic ball and see what the future holds for you? Come along. I'm going to take him up on the roof and overthrow him. Whip out your magic ball, Matty. Dicko, 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 mecko. Why, that's an eight ball. Sit right down behind it. Yeah. The magic ball says you have not long to live. Oh, goody. <laughs> Syracuse. Concentrate. The spirits are sending me a message. No. <laughs> they are coming closer and closer. I can feel their magic touch. Me wow. too. see that. Dear daughter, if you poison Mo Hailstone, I'll make you queen of the May. Your father, Herman the Six and Seven Eights, King of Moronica. P.S. There's a sale on poison at the Cutthroat Drugstore. Six and Seven Eights. Grab her! I knew it! Hey! <gasps> hey! Just hold her on. She's a spy. She's a spy all over, isn't she? Why, you halfwit? <laughs> <laughs> Call out all my stormtroopers. Stormtroopers? Calling, storm <laughs> Calling all stormtroopers. <laughs> What's the matter? Quick, there's a storm brewing. We caught a spy. Hey, 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 wow. <laughs> hey, 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 that was hilarious. Get a confession of a nasty spy and shoot her. How can you shoot her with dice? They're loaded. <laughs> Here, take her out and shoot her. Don't worry about it when I get there. Come on, Toots, we'll shoot the works. And just think, I might have asked Matty Herring to marry me. Yeah, you'd have been in some pickle with that Herring. Yes. <clears throat> Blindfold? Yes, of course. Right. Ten paces and I'll fire. Goodbye. Goodbye. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Silly nine, boy. ten. Silly boy. That's it. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> what happened? That Matty Harry escaped. And you shot me in the excitement, you fool. We must get her back. I'll be satisfied if we get her half back. I'll take a quarterback. In fact, I'll take Notre Dame and two points. Oh, you want two points? I certainly do. Well, you got her. Oh. <laughs> we got to strike before she gets back to her father, the king, and they gather an army. What can we do? We'll start a blink screen. Oh, goody. I just love blinches, especially with sour cream. I find it in dance, in interfile, in hot carbon, in jump like shit, in public, in hot carbon. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Get him. Wow. <laughs> Gentlemen, study this map carefully. We're going to come with the continent of South Starvania. Starvania? Very interesting map. Dazzly Lake? Mesley Lake? Mickey Flynn? I can't read these names. Chin Chin, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. It's like a pirate symbol, but it's all deformed. I shall give Mickey Finland. If I take Mickey Finlan, I better be Russian. Then quit Stalin. So be it. It's time for our round table conference. How we have a round table conference? We only got a square table. Oh, in Moronica, nothing is on the square. We shall have to cut corners. Get busy. I'm cutting. Oh, Your Excellency. 
I'm your new secretary, Miss Pepperness. What is it, Miss Pepperness? Wow. <laughs> Jesus. The delegates are here for the round table conference. How many of them are there? Oh, I don't A know. A ballet Maybe secretary? Five, six, seven, <laughs> or eight, maybe. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I don't know what we do without you. <laughs> Mighty pretty girl, isn't she? Mighty fine dancer, too. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> but you tell it to all the boys. Quiet. <laughs> tell the delegates we'll be ready in a moment. Oh, I will. Can I have another dance? I think I'll set this one up. Okay. Oh, Patty cake? <laughs> is that finished yet? Gentlemen, let us begin to begin. As Minister of Umpola, I object. Your minorities are creeping into our majorities until you're making our majorities minorities. Objection overruled. Peace! We want peace! Yes, a piece of this and a piece of that country. Delegate Bons Rittenbach, do you really want peace? Yes. <laughs> that Bons is hard to crack. You're using the wrong club. Try this nibbling. Oh, thanks, Kenny. Wow. Four? What is a corridor through double cross here as an outlet yes. into the Peace. bay of window? Quiet! The gentlemen object. Appease them. How about throwing them to the new lines? No, let's appease them. I just love appeasing. Why, this is rough. It's outrageous. I'm very much late. I'm here. 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 i am here student shorts and I'd say one of their best. This was truly a very gutsy move that the students actually make fun of Hitler in this picture but Chaplin did it in The Dictator as well and they're both fantastic film shorts and Moe's uh, Hitler's impression was actually brilliant putting his own unique spin to this historical figure. This short is definitely filled with hilarious non-stop funny one-liners. The characters in this film short are so unique especially seeing the stormtroopers marching right in with their raincoats that was hilarious and dancing ballerina secretary, dancing with Mo, Larry, and Curly. Do you guys remember in one of the scenes, the man with the chicken, and then you saw like the really short guard? And then when I heard him talk, it got me thinking like, wait a minute, that voice is so familiar. Is it a possibility that it's the same actor 
who played one of the lead munchkins in The Wizard of Oz. If I'm right, let me know in the comments. What is your favorite scene from this film short? Let me know in the comments. I'm your host, Anika Chung, and I'll see you next time on the next music and film review. Love yourself always. And remember, be excellent to each other. All right, guys, I'll see you next time in the pictures. Cheers, and that is a wrap. Later, guys. That's all, folks. Boop, boop, be doo.